Okay, so here we have a Venn diagram. So a Venn diagram is basically just a visualization of some universal set. So the box, the square box, the rectangle represents the universe, okay? And so what we want to understand is that we can also write this in the roster form. Understand that what you get from the videos is only going to matter to you if you know the vocabulary. So you have to make sure that you know the vocabulary. So um, what we want to do is we want to look at the roster form. So that's when you have your elements listed out separated by commas and it's essentially just a list of all of the elements in the universe and then you can have your individual roster form for each individual set so understand that set A is this circle A here. So everything that is in the A circle is part of the A set. So then we have B. And so we look at the B circle, right? So the Venn diagram is a visualization of the set, okay? It's a visualization. So you can see it, all right? So we put in our roster form. Okay, so and then we have two elements, the 18 and the 19, which are not part of set A nor set B. Okay, so we go through. We have the complement. Complement means give me the elements that are in A that are not in A. So basically, any element that is part of the universal set but not in A. Okay, that's what the complement says. So the complement says, Tell me what's in the universe, but not in the set that I'm complementing, that I'm taking the complement of. So the complement of A is give me all of the elements that are in the universe that are not in A. So there's two things you can do. You can X out the A circle. So if you cover up the A circle, you will see that all that will be left would be 12, 15, 16, 18 and 19 or you can use the roster form so what's not in a all right so you would take all the elements that are in a out and then what will be left would be what's not in a 12 15 16 18 19 and there you have it okay and so that's how you do those Then we have the union. So the union, A union B. So the union says bring together everything in A with everything in B. So it's a uniting of the sets, okay? So whatever you're taking the union of, you're bringing all of those elements together. So that's going to give us 11, 14, 13, 17, 12, 15, and 16. So A union with B, okay? Then we have intersection. Intersection means A intersect B. Tell me what they share, what they have in common, the and of them. And union is the or of them. And complement is considered the not of them. Okay? So the and, what is in A and in B? Okay? This is A or B. So either or both. And, and means must be in both. So what are they sharing? And so they share right here in this intersected section where you see 13 and 17. Okay. Then we have cardinality. So cardinality basically represents the number of elements that are present in the set. Okay. The number of elements present in the set. So here, the... The notation for cardinality is the number, the small n. So n, number of elements in A. That's what that means. So the number of elements in set A, you can use the Venn diagram or you can use the list. One, two, one, two, three, four, 
or one, two, three, four. Either way, you get four. Then B, how many elements are not in A but in B? So here is a cardinality question, but instead of using the notation, it just uses words. How many elements are not in A but in B? So we don't want anything that's part of A. I'm sorry, it's not not. How many elements are in A but not in B? Oh, I totally messed that up, but that's okay. You'll be fine. So how many elements are in A but not in B? So who's in A? 11, 14, 13, and 17, but they cannot be in B. So 13 and 17 are also part of set B, so we cannot include those. So how many elements are in A but not in B? Two. And those two elements would be 11 and 14 if that's what we wanted, okay? And we're just going to do one more. A union B complement. So here, A union B complement. So we're leading into set notation um, and set operations. And so A union B, you want to follow your order of operations. Parentheses matter. Okay, parentheses matter. So basic algebra concepts are important. So A union with B means all the elements that are in A as well as all the elements that are in B. Well, we already did that right here. So we want all of the elements that are in the universe that are not inside of A union B, okay? So you can use your listing or you can use your picture. A union B is this circle and this circle. That's all the elements that are A union with B. So what is not in A union B? Well, inside the box, that leaves me with just 18 and 19. Okay, and so that would be your answer for that set operation. So you have problems that are going to use cardinality notation and say how many elements, that's giving numbers. Or you can just have set operations saying, tell me what are the elements that are in A union B complement, which would be 1819. Okay.